10. An associate professor at the University of Ghana, Professor Ransford Jampo, is urging stakeholders in Ghana's electoral process, other than the political parties and the Electoral Commission, to intervene and ensure that stalemate, which currently exists between the EC and the Opposition National Democratic Congress, is addressed. He spoke to my colleague, Josephine Nentriji. The Electoral Commission has held two post-2020 elections inter-party advisory committee meetings which have been boycotted by the NDC. According to the NDC, it will not participate in any IPAC meeting until the EC acknowledges and addresses flaws in the 2020 general elections. And you didn't need a soothsayer to, to tell you about the post train of, of the NDC, particularly given how they were treated during the election petition. Um, the way and manner the election petition was carried out created tacitly an impression in the minds of people that all went well with the electoral process. And if all went well with the electoral process, then why do you call people to come and sit down on the table to talk about electoral reforms? And so uh, it was to be expected that uh, we are going to be doing this. But, and the NDC on its own, I'm not sure, would also want to um, just all of a sudden resign its decision and, and, and join IPAC. The boycott cannot also go on in perpetuity. And so I call on other stakeholders of our electoral processes to join in the fray and to um, ensure that a certain um, restoration of relationship is, is brought to modern. He said post-2020 electoral forms will remain bleak if the largest opposition party is not involved. Professor Jampo criticized the ruling party for constantly speaking for and defending the EC. Now, the moment you have the ruling party jumping to defend and to speak, or the ruling party making, arrogating itself the power to become the mouthpiece of the electoral commission, the moment this thing happens, it creates needless feeling of suspicion in the minds of the opposition. And so they will oppose whatever move our um, electoral commission takes. And so let the ruling party learn to shut up. When issues concerning the Electoral Commission comes up, let the Electoral Commission also hire the services of people who can adequately communicate their position, not those communicators whose communication actually annoys. According to the lecturer, the EC over the years has been rationally incompetent in dealing with opposition parties. Whilst we are telling, saying that the Electoral Commission has been relationally incompetent in dealing with the opposition, we must also make the point that um, it is not also always the best that the opposition would always take an intransigent position against the Electoral Commission. On EC's proposal to end polls at 3 p.m., Ransford Jampo urged the Commission to deal with teething challenges, particularly with the late commencement of polls. From 1992 up to now, those challenges, anytime we are holding elections, they continue to surface. And it's, it appears we are helpless, we can't deal with them. One of those challenges is the late start of polls. If you look at 1992 up to 2020, Every time we are holding elections, some areas will start polls late. Some will start as late as 11 a.m. And the refrain excuse has been, oh, late, late arrival of polling materials or something happened. And it's always been with us. You are going to cause stampede at the various voting centers and you are going to bring about chaos. And these things would undermine the credibility of our elections.